Hey guys, so welcome again to the Pathfinder update. Basically, the guys started over here in this area, and they had to deal with a huge creature that ended up splitting itself into two and attacking the party. Uh, the way that they got around it was that Nate, the fighter, uh, started commanding it like trying to mimic how the magic mouth had caused it to attack the party and they were able to get the two creatures to beat themselves up opening this door they came to this area right here uh, where there was a countdown and the walls closed in on them uh, this was really a lesson on um, I guess believing in yourself so that you wouldn't hit the button and start the whole process over again they got through here there was these huge mounds of gold uh, see the cartoon reference to kind of find out what happened here. They found the body of the drow elf, her name Nescante, and the uh, pendant, which was one of the five items they had to find in Eberron. The only way truly out was basically down the level. Uh, Tony ended up going down this drainage area, uh, so took no damage climbing down a ladder. Everyone else jumped into this pile of gold that disappeared after Nate took a piece of gold. And unfortunately this brought them down a level where the only way they were going to get back out was dealing with the this rather large rust monster. The party did succeed though, uh, where uh, not by killing it, but by grabbing the key that was around the creature's neck to unlock their anklets and came back up through this hole which they had blocked with a huge crate so it took some time for them to get out uh, but they're about to talk again to the mayor of the half work village his name's Krom and uh, figure out where their next steps are where they're going that's a quick wrap on what's been going on